All right, now we have seen all the major features which arrived on One UI 6.0 in one of my previous videos. In this video, we are going to take a look at all those minor features and changes which really matter. On the right hand side, I've got the Galaxy S23 Ultra running on One UI 6.0 and on the left hand side, I've got the S22 Ultra running on One UI 5.1. Let's go ahead. The first minor change that you're going to notice is in the notifications. Uh, you can see the text on the notifications have gotten a slightly better or slightly bigger, which enhances the visibility of the notifications on the notification panel. As you can see on One UI 5.1, the notification font is slightly smaller and on the One UI 6.1, it is slightly bigger. Now this of course depends on the font size, but I have set the same font size on both these phones and yet we can see slightly bigger font on the One UI 6.0. The next thing we notice is on the previous version, when you scroll up these notifications, you can see all these icons also available here to see at the bottom left corner. But now that's gone here on the newer version. We just have notification settings right here at the bottom left corner. Now let's go to notification settings here. I'll tap on notification settings on both. Here let's go to advanced settings. We've got notification history. I'll tap on this. This is where we get to see all the notification history, uh, which we have already dismissed on the notification panel. Now, if you see on the newer version of the notification history, uh, the messages have got a detailed view, whereas on the previous version, we don't have the detailed view. We have to expand the notification to check the detailed view of that particular notification. As you can see on the newer version, we get to see more information about the notification. On One UI 6.0, you can see we have got more details on the notifications here. That is something to know. Now let's go back. Now on settings, let's go to advanced settings settings and let's tap on labs. Now here you can see on the previous version we have got four different toggles multi window for all apps full screen in split screen view swipe for pop up view and swipe for split screen view whereas now we have got multi window for all app toggle here and then we have got an all new option called dark mode application let me tap on this as you can see it says choose apps that will always use dark mode even when your phone is set to light mode so if your phone is set to light mode you can still see youtube in dark mode uh, as of now we have got only one application which is showing up here for some reason maybe uh, with the next beta or the stable version we'll see all the applications here which can be run in dark mode even when the phone is in light mode let's say i have turned the light mode on here and now if i go to youtube the dark mode is on over here as you can see the dark mode is on whereas the phone has got the light mode turned on and apart from that you can see all these toggles have been moved right here to the bottom the next change you're going to notice is on the uh, phone dialer you can see if you have turned on the wi-fi calling let me just turn on the wi-fi calling on the one ui 6.0 you can see we've got this dialer icon which indicates that the wi-fi calling is turned on whereas in the previous version we don't get this indication of wi-fi calling now, whenever we are searching for an application on Finder, uh, we can press and hold on the app to go to the associated shortcuts. For example, let's say I've got this uh, phone app here. If I press and hold on this, you can see I've got missed calls, search and create contact. Whereas on the previous version, let's say I will go to the same phone application. If I press and hold on this, we don't get these options here. We just get locate app, add to home screen and app information. Whereas now, along with this, add to home and locate app options, we get these uh, app shortcuts as well right here. If I press and hold on Google, you can see we've got search and voice search options right here and locate app and add to home are at the bottom here. That's another improvement we have got. Now in the settings earlier, we had battery and device care options put together. Now we have got battery separately mentioned here. The battery tab is separately grouped under settings. We can easily access the battery information here. Earlier we had to tap on battery and device care where we get both battery and device care option. Now you can see under battery, the visuals have changed here. Uh, the battery usage information is indicated in a different graph now, as you can see this bar chart here, whereas earlier we had this kind of an indication. And even this battery indicator bar on the top is a little thicker now, as you can see there are some visual improvements here under battery section and uh, uh, the settings as a whole. Now you can also notice here the protect battery option has been added right below the power saving and background usage limit options. Whereas in the previous version, we had to go to more battery settings and and here on One UI 6.0, we don't have more battery settings, but instead they have named it as charging settings. I can tap on this to see these toggles here, and we have got all these toggles over here. There are some minor changes in these options that we see on One UI 6.0. Now inside the gallery, when you open a particular image, you can uh, just swipe up to edit that image. You can see those options right here, remaster, portrait effect, and object eraser. All these three options are right here, 
whenever you swipe up an image to see the information you can also go to uh, edit option here to edit the image but uh, we have got easy access to uh, these three options here remaster portrait effect and object eraser which wasn't there before and if you have any files in the quick share folder or quick share album you will be able to notice this all new icon here this is the private share icon you can directly create a private share link right from here which wasn't there in the previous version you can see we have got a quick share album here i got an image here and i don't see this uh, icon right on top uh, whereas on one us 6.0 we have got private share icon right on top here only inside the quick share album and i really wish this option shows up in every folder or every album so that we can create private share links right from inside the album now when i tap on the hamburger menu here you can see we have got direct access to go to studio now studio is a brand new feature on one ui 6.0 it's an advanced video editing uh, feature which has been added into one ui 6.0 now and we have got a direct access right from here when you tap on this hamburger menu we have got access to go to studio uh, right from here now i already made a separate video on a studio application if you want to check that out i will leave a link in the description go ahead and check that video out to understand this application better okay now let's tap on this hamburger menu i will tap on settings now let me go to gallery labs here at the bottom i have already enabled gallery labs by tapping on the version number on uh, about gallery uh, so you can also enable gallery labs now when we go to gallery labs you can see on one ui 6.0 we have got four brand new toggles or four brand new features added some of them are working and some of them are not currently working whereas on the previous version we don't have these options this is only for one ui 5.0 and now on one ui 6.0 we have got four brand new options here which you can explore now inside the gallery when you open the image and tap on this three dot button you can see the options have changed here uh, earlier we had remaster picture add portrait effect and uh, details option right on top and now this has been moved we do not have those options here to see those options like i mentioned earlier you have to swipe up on the image and you will be able to see remaster portrait effect and object eraser right here uh, the uh, remaster as well as the portrait effect options were available here on this menu itself in uh, the previous version and when you tap on this edit button you can see the editing options have changed now it looks much better these icons have gotten bigger here and we have got some additional options here which i will be discussing in a detailed video about gallery application so stay tuned for that video now let's look at the reminder application as you can see the brand new layout here on the latest one ui 6.0 we got all these reminder categories on the top let me just uh, turn on the light mode here for a better uh, visibility you can see we have got all these folders here then we have got the past reminders uh, which are here at the bottom and we also get to see some tips right here on the top it says learn how to create reminders you can't miss uh, i can tap on see tips you can see all these tips are available here on the reminder application itself now the next change is on the internet application now let's say if you're watching a video on internet application and if you move to some other application by swiping up on the home screen you will still be able to hear the video sound in the background on the application now as you can see in the change log samsung says play video in the background keep playing video sound even if you leave the current tab or leave the internet application this is a new feature we have got now the sound will play in the background even when you leave the uh, internet application while the video is playing on it now let me open the edge panel on both these phones we've got this smart select panel here i will just tap on rectangle to take a small screenshot here i'll tap on done and uh, pin this particular screenshot i'll do the same here as well I'll tap on done and uh, pin it here now you can see when i tap on this particular screenshot we get this text option here we will be able to extract the text from this uh, smartly selected screenshot uh, right here on one ui 6.0 whereas on the previous version we did not have a text selection option when an when a screenshot is pinned on the home screen that's a new addition we have got now let's go to modes and routines on both the phones i'll tap on routines and tap on plus button to create a new routine now in the if condition section you can see we've got an all new option called media being played you can see we have got this under uh, the event option uh, we've got a brand new if condition now called media is being played uh, we can create a routine using this particular option now you can set the if condition as media is being played and then execute some actions depending on what you want in the actions menu in the previous version you can see we did not have this option here after theater mode on galaxy watch 4 here we've got media is being played option now let's tap on then condition 
you can see here also we've got a brand new option this is called samsung keyboard now samsung keyboard option was not there in the previous version and now we have got samsung keyboard option uh, here we've got samsung keyboard voice input language and types mode high contrast keyboard so we can create a routine using this then condition as well i'll probably make a detailed video about this particular feature so stay tuned for that now let's look at the widgets i'll tap on widgets here i'll tap on smart suggestions let me add smart suggestion widget on the home screen on one ui 5.0 now i'll do the same here i will tap on widgets and i will add smart suggestions as you can see the moment you tap on this the uh, grids have changed here we've got four by three grid now whereas we just had four by two uh, I will press and hold on this and bring it on the home screen. You can see this is transparent now. Now when I press and hold on this widget, we get settings option here. Whereas on the previous version, we did not have settings for this particular widget. Now I can tap on settings. I will be able to customize this widget further. We have got excluded apps. We have got notification access. And we can also change the transparency of the background of this particular widget. This is just fantastic. This is a great change we have got or a great feature which has been added on the smart suggestions widget. Now the best part is we get to see more applications here. We can get rid of all these apps here and we can just put this over here because it is going to show you all those recently used applications and most used applications right here on the home screen. Now the next one is when you go to the settings and you tap on advanced features, you can see now we have got Bixby option right here we can directly access bixby settings by tapping on this earlier we did not have that under advanced features we don't see bixby option here as you can see uh, in the current version we have got bixby option right here under advanced features now these are some of the minor features and changes that we can notice on one ui 6.0 if you have got any additions you can let me know you can uh, drop a comment and let me know what has changed what you have noticed on one ui 6.0 apart from the ones that i have discussed in this video now the major features have been discussed in my previous video i will link that video in the description if you have missed it go ahead check that out and in this video we have discussed only the minor changes and features that is all i want to share with you guys in this video thanks for watching Watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, go ahead, subscribe to the channel and become a part of Apex community uh, and uh, give this video a like if you find this video informational. The wallpapers are linked in the description. If you're interested in downloading them, you can go ahead and check them out. Every video will get a brand new wallpaper. So you can check all my previous videos to download some incredible wallpapers from those links. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.